Hi everyone, it's Giselle with another message for today. I just want to remind you that you are limitless. And that really you're doing yourself a disservice if you are putting a figure or some kind of value, monetary value or something, you know. Let me give an example. I don't want to confuse anyone. <laughs> so say, for instance, you're trying to grow your business. And you're saying, oh, do you know what? I think it would be so awesome if I could earn an extra thousand pound a month. You're limiting yourself because, yes, you can earn that. But why not shoot for more? Don't stick a figure against what it is that you're trying to obtain because you are limitless, you are energy, you are eternal and so is your ability to obtain anything you want. And I know people get a bit doubtful when they say, well, I tried to obtain something but I didn't get what I wanted. Well, were you very specific or were you open? Sometimes things aren't allowed to happen because they're just simply not going to serve us to the highest capabilities. If I got my way and four, is it four years ago or five years? Nearly five years ago, I would have got in my way and had that relationship with my false twin, I would have been in deep trouble financially as well as romantically. None of the areas that I want to blossom in would have been met because this person was toxic. They were very narcissistic, very focused on just themselves. They weren't willing to share or give of themselves. It was always me giving and them taking, but I was never receiving anything in return. And it took me a while to see this. This person was also very self-deprecating and so negative. And you could feel, sadly, I drew him to me because my energy was not at the vibration that it needed to be in for me to attract true love. So I'd, I, I kind of got a contrasting experience because that was what I needed at the time. So it may not always be the way that we perceive, but if we are open, we always receive what is for our highest good and this used to actually sound so bad to me I don't know it may sound crazy to some of you like how could something for your highest good be bad but I knew exactly why it was rubbing me up the wrong way before because deep down I knew that that person wasn't the one for me and when I heard words like it's not for your highest good it was kind of like, well, I don't give a... <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I'll have him anyway. Not realising that I was setting myself up for failure and that I was settling for something far less than I was truly worthy of. And fast forward a couple of years, I saw exactly what was going to happen to me had I gotten my way. But my higher self and the universe loves me so much and my twin flame loves me so much that they weren't going to allow me to go down that path. And it broke my heart and I was sad for a while. But you know what? In hindsight, I'm so glad that I didn't get my way then. I know it's kind of straying away from this topic now saying that you're limitless and all that a little bit. But I'm giving that example because I know people are maybe doubting and saying, well, if everything is working out for me, then why don't I get what I want at times? I also know that when I'm trying to manifest certain things like material possessions or wealth, 
that I don't always get those things either. And the reasoning behind that, it's not because I'm not worthy. Far from it, I am so worthy. It's because of limiting beliefs. Even though I think that having these things would be awesome and totally amazing and a step up and an amazing experience that I've been wanting to have, there is a little fear inside me. And I know exactly because I remember walking down the street and feeling a little bit unsafe. Not because in broad daylight I didn't think anyone was going to attack me, but I thought, you know, when my business is doing better and I'm getting more up there, you know, with finances and everything's going great, I think I'm just going to continue on dressing the way I am right now so that I'm not suspicious and people aren't going to target me and maybe kidnap me or, you know, and those little fears are popping up and they are the reason why I wasn't able to get what I wanted just yet because I had limiting beliefs. I was acting out of fear rather than acting out of abundance and love. I was going, oh, I'm not going to buy that in case I get attacked. And really... (sighs) We shouldn't have to be fearful at all. And we shouldn't allow our fears to hold us back. That's why we are limitless. And as long as we realize that we are limitless, we can attract anything and everything that we want. Just like this um, little quote card says, God's wealth comes to me in avalanches of abundance. I think I heard this from Jake Ducey uh, a few months ago. And... It makes me feel so rich just looking at these words because they empower me to realize that I'm not alone in this. The universe, God, whatever you want to call it, it you know, it doesn't matter what you call it. The love, the divine, unconditional, pure love has you covered. They have got your back. Whatever it is that you want, they want for you. They want to grow through and with you and take joy in you attaining your dreams and your heart's desires. And I know that for some people coming out of certain backgrounds, it may be hard to understand because we have been conditioned with a lot of preconceived very untrue beliefs since perhaps since we were little that we shouldn't have so so much we shouldn't get our own way that's selfish that's you know not good but what makes you happy and what makes the world a beautiful place how can that ever be bad if god is love then why would god want to deprive you And not give you your heart's desire. What's the point in coming here? You know, that would make no sense coming here and being miserable. That's why whenever I used to go to Sunday school when I was little, I felt pinched off. And that's awful, right? You're going to a religious establishment to feel pinched off from God. But I truly did. I was denied my gift, my God-given gift to see energy and spirit and interpret things with my third eye and, you know, they're saying, oh no, that's witchcraft. How could a four-year-old or three-year-old even practice witchcraft? I mean, come on. I was innocent and pure and they were trying to pinch me off from my true gifts. And so it's hard to recondition your mind, but you must understand that the universe and God and whatever you want to refer it to as is wanting you to have everything that makes your heart sing. And what makes your heart sing is love. Whether that's love expressed in material wealth, expressed in your dream job, expressed in your dream relationship, you can have it all because you are limitless. And when you're not getting initially, not getting what you thought you wanted, that's because there's a bigger dream that's not being realized had I settled for my false twin well I would have gotten married and and maybe ruined things for me and my true love and now that I didn't get that I'm so grateful and I know exactly why I didn't get it I wasn't at the right vibration to welcome in true love and 
what an awful thing it would have been to cut myself off from true love. And I want you to know that you truly are limitless. And that creation happens in your heart. Creation happens out of pure love. And when you can feel the feeling of having what it is that you want, then it naturally has to flow to you as it has no other choice. Because you are the creator and you create with love. I hope that this has helped you. If you'd like to connect with me, all my details are in the link. Thank you all so very much for watching. I see I've got even more subscribers now, which just, it warms my heart to know that you just appreciate what I do and what I bring out. And I never set up this channel to be popular. I always ever had the intention of, I'm going to speak my truth. If it's not popular, oh well, so be it. But if I can help at least one person, then I'm happy. And the readings that I've had live with people today and them expressing their appreciation for the value that they found in my words is just, I'm so grateful for you. And I know this one particular lady came to me at a time when I was particularly a bit down because people were not very supportive. It, it was a weird time. It wasn't too long ago, but it was before some full moon activity and there was a lot of spiritual attacks happening but she came to me when I needed it the most and you know who you are thank you very much for sharing your story and being so warm and open-minded and I know it's a great big different world to you but after our chat I'm just so inspired and I'm grateful for your input into my life you know for so many of you it's not just me helping you you are helping me too and I'm so grateful to just connect and be able to share with you what is in my heart and I appreciate your ability to teach me too and yeah it's been amazing so thank you all for watching and have a beautiful day. Namaste.